If you don't know where you're going, everywhere will look like it. Until you place a demand from God. This is what I want. If you don't have vision, God does not have anything to work with. You pursue the vision. It is vision that defines what you want God to do for you. Jesus came with a vision for God to give Jesus speed and be there for him. Jesus knew what he wanted. I can't even I can't even hold myself. If I pass by your side today, you get a miracle. If I if I if I smile at you, you get a miracle. If in my mistake you touch me, you get double miracle. You know, God God was speaking to me this morning. Surprisingly, I just flew in back six o'clock this morning. Uh, don't worry, it was business class, so I slept. Hey, hey. Devil is alive. This morning, I, I was hearing God saying to me, He said, He said, handkerchiefs and aprons was taken from the body of Paul. He says, and, and, and evil spirits were jumping out. People were getting healed. People were receiving miracles. He said to me, I have moved you into that dimension. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. He said, anybody you smile at, And if you know what I'm saying, somebody shout power. <laughs> I'm going to be careful whom I shake these days and whom I smile at these days. Because, all I need to do is just... <laughs> so, so, so get ready this morning, amen. You know what I'm excited? I am excited because I know the result. Amen? I'm excited because I know the result. Okay, let's, let's preach. Let me preach. Uh, I know I wanted to speak to somebody called Susan or Suzette. Uh, I wanted to speak to somebody called Susan or Suzette. Where is anybody like that? Susan or Suzette? Is it Susan or Suzette? Alaba Hadaba. Yereboho Suhabada. All I said, if I come close, that's what he told me. 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 Multiply. He said, I should tell the person to multiply. 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 That's all he asked me to do. Just tell Susan or Susan to multiply. Multiply. Genesis, I did Genesis yesterday, I'll do another scripture tomorrow. Genesis chapter 1, from 25 to 31. Mahadabaha. Shatali Mataya. Somebody came here with issues. You came to the right place. God told me that he's going to do a 48 hours unusual miracle. Amen. I don't know whom I'm talking to. When I, when I, I told you I came another level, don't, don't keep quiet and listen. You need to receive because blessed is he that receives. So. God told me he is going to do a 40, between now and evening service you will testify. I said, look, I see eight, eight people, eight. 
eight people testifying between now and tomorrow evening. Are you just looking? Okay, you need to understand the new me now. I came new. Blessed is he that receives. This thing is spiritual now. Don't, don't, this thing is not normal. Whether they think you're a lunatic, be a lunatic. The woman say, if I can only touch. They say, they say if I can only. You need to have the, the faith of a lunatic. A madman, a madman is not ashamed. A madman is not curtailed by his environment. Yes, sir. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. A madman is mad. Yes, sir. He has lost his mind. Yes, sir. So he does things that are crazy. Yes. That is what Christianity is. Ah. Until you become a Christian lunatic. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. If you mind what people are saying, who, where you are, what is happening around you, your Christianity is weak. What, what are they telling Boko Haram? What are they telling these people? That after three days, three days, they can put a bomb in their body and bomb somebody. Three days. There is something they are receiving. They are not just, they receive it and it enters here. This morning I'm speaking on the subject, be fruitful and multiply. Yeah. Genesis chapter 1, 25 to the end. Quickly, let's read. Malabadikata. And God made the beast of the earth. And his kind and cattle after their kind and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind and God saw that it was good and God said and God please hear this word and God said, somebody say, God said. God said. I can't hear you. Somebody say, God said. God said. And God said, let us make man in our own image after our own likeness and let them have, somebody say have, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every crippled thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created him male and female. Created he them. Verse 28, just hang in there. God created man in his image and after his likeness. When he made man, man just stood there and was looking at God. And God looked at man and looked at man. He said, something is wrong. Something is wrong with man. He said, if I made man in my own image, remember where we went to where we read, he said he made the fishes, he made the sky, he made this and he made this. Somebody said produce. Somebody said produce. When he looked at man, he looked at man and something was missing in man. He said, I made him in my image after my likeness this man is like me but there is something missing he said there is something I have 
that the man does not have yet. Then he declared in verse 28, B, I missed you. B, he did not say, go and produce. B, he said, I am God. I can produce. I can create. I can do a lot of things. He turned around and said, Be like me. Be like me. Don't act like me. Don't pretend to be me. Don't just do like you are not me. Be me. Hey, I missed you. All of a sudden, God transferred his in-depth ability, his in-depth ability to create and recreate. He transferred, he said, in the morning, B. In the afternoon, B. 2010 B, 2012 B, 2013 B, 2017 B. He said, just like I am, I produce any time I want to produce B. It is an error. God does not benefit at your failure. God does not benefit at your failure. When you fail, it does not benefit God. When you fail, you are not like God. When you refuse to produce, you are not being like God. I came this morning to tell somebody somewhere, be fruitful. I came this morning. Ayaba Kateka Bohoto Baha. I came this morning by power and by force. I came to tell somebody, be fruitful. I said, be fruitful. I said, be fruitful. He said, B. 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 It has to be natural. Everything you touch should produce. I came to impact you this morning. I came to impact you this morning. I came to change your destiny this morning. I came to change your life this morning. I came to command a blessing this morning. Fruitfulness. Hear this. Fruitfulness glorifies God. Bakalika. Fruitfulness. Anytime a man is productive, whether in business or in having children, every time a man is productive, it brings glory to God. God wants us to be an episode. He wants us to be an episode. God wants people to look at you and see God in you. They want to look at your business and see God in your business. They want to look at your body. They see God in your body. They want to look at your family. They see God in your family. Somebody shall be fruitful.
truthfulness in the English language basically means progress. Means what? Progress. progress. If you Google it, it will tell you it means progress. That something is not dying. That something is progressive. Be progressive. Yeah. I say be progressive. Yeah. I say be progressive. Yeah. Let your career be, pro be progressive. Yeah. Let your family be progressive. Yeah. I came to do an impartation this morning. Anything that is dead in your life shall live today in the name of Jesus. And God said, be fruitful and multiply. Fruitfulness takes away reproach. Reproach means shame. The reason why God wants you to be productive it takes away shame. Barrenness brings reproach and shame. The reason why God is so truthful, He wants the shame in your life to end and it's ending today. Every shame in your family is ending today. Every shame in your body is ending today. Every shame in your home is ending today. Somebody said, preach, black man. It takes away reproach. Reproach is when people are using you as an example. They use you as an example. There's a man that was born blind. For people to identify him, they called him blind Bartimaeus. See, for you to know whom I'm talking about, when you come to the place where people are gathered, look for the one that is blind. He's the one we're talking about. Look for the one that is broke. He's the one we're talking about. Look for the one that, we, that cannot pay his rent. He's the one we're talking about. You will see one that is carrying a big Bible, but his shirt is torn. He's the one that we're talking about. That shame will end today. I said that shame will end today. I said that shame will end today. I said shame will end today. Shake your neighbor and say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shake the next up and shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That shame and the report. He said, B. It is not a suggestion. Am I talking to somebody? It is not a suggestion. It is the voice of God. The voice of God is the voice of power. The voice of God is the voice of strength. The voice of God is the voice of glory. I prophesy with my eyes open. I decree and I declare, be fruitful. Labadikaha. I came to take away tears from somebody's eyes today. a young lady and the lady came to me she was just passing and I said go and carry your children Amen. somebody say power. power and I, I left the husband and her turned around and started laughing
Because seven years ago, she had cut her tubes. And there was no way for her to have a baby. Somebody say power. Be food is a command. When God said be fruitful, he knew that there are grounds. There are grounds that cannot produce. He knew that there are atmospheres that cannot produce. He knew that there were situations that cannot produce. He did not look at the situation. He did not look at the ground. He did not consider where you were sowing. He said, be. This young man and the wife, they laughed at me. Well, not that they really laughed at me. They laughed because they felt if I had known, I would have changed the prophecy. Hear me. The word of God does not need validation. The word of God is able to create. So it is not determined by the other side. The word of God is determined by who said it. Not by what is happening that side. Because the word of God has the power to change what is happening that side. What is happening that side listens to the word of God. I came by power. I came by power. I came by power. Every situation in your life, receive power now in the name of Jesus. Every condition in your body, in your business, in your career, receive power now in the name of Jesus. They, they cut off her two. What I'm giving you is power. I don't know as many people that will receive this. If you lay it on the dead, they will rise. I told you, he told me that handkerchiefs and aprons were taken. Three months later, this man came with the wife. He said, Pastor, we don't understand. I said, why don't you understand? He said, we have not told you, we did not tell you. My wife cut off her tubes. So it is impossible by any diagnostic, analytic, and uh, linguistic by any by any measure of medical science it is absolutely ridiculously impossible for i'm blowing grammar today somebody shall blow somebody shall blow by enemies so she said my wife caught her tube seven years ago intentionally so she, there is no way she should have been able to have a baby but we are just coming from the doctor and the doctor just told us that my wife is pregnant i don't know what situation that you are going to I feel God here. I don't know what they have decided against you. What the doctors have said. What the lawyers have said. I came to reverse it this morning. In the name of Jesus. Not only that. Two years later. She got another baby. You don't understand. 
this morning I did not I did not come considering you uh -uh. I did not come considering you because if I consider you I will not preach if I consider that your situation that you said uh, uh, pastor you don't understand I don't want to understand because if I understand I was in Calabar on Sunday if you understand what happened there you will not even believe it. The man didn't have too much camera. I, mean, I was getting angry. I said, why can this thing not be recorded? Are you listening to me? The miracles that were happening, it was, it was unusual. Unusual miracles. M morning and evening. Morning. By, by the Sunday, more than 30 people were, test they were chasing them. Not to testify about me. Some of you have known my face and my color for too long. Because you've known my face and known my color, you have forgotten the God that called me. You think I'm your friend now. Miracles. Unusual. Oh, oh how do I explain these miracles? unusual miracle a young man saw me somewhere i went to i don't know where i was going this is in nigeria now he saw me he said sir sir are you in town i said it's my country sir he said you can't you won't believe it i said believe what he said from the last time you prayed for me it did not take three months i started when you prayed for me i did not have nada he said, three months later, I am building a story building. Why, why are these people not happy this morning? Who, who bewitched you? Who has done this to you? I say, I am not considering you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? I am not considering you. If a virgin can have a baby, a, the angel of God did not consider the woman. Because in miracles, listen, in miracle, it has to be God for it to be a miracle. It has to be a miracle for it to be God. It is not dependent on this side. It is dependent. How can a river, a sea? It is not for the sea to decide. It was the man on this side that was controlling what will happen on that side. I came to make you a millionaire. I said, I came to make you a millionaire. I come to change your business forever. Your business receives life now. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a command. It is not a suggestion. It is God is not suggesting. When he started, he said. He asked the, reef, the seed to produce for testing, for testing. The seed produced. He said, bed, produce. He was going somewhere. He was testing, testing. The bed produced. He said, let grass come. Grass came. He said, now, let us. This is where I've been going. I was trying to sample these things. Whether they walk. Now they are walking. He comes to man. He said, B. He did not tell man, listen, he did not tell man, grow like grass. 
He did not tell man, come like a fish. He did not tell man, be like uh, animals. He said, no. When it got to the time of man, he said, as I did, you do. He said, as I did, I don't know what business you're doing. I release life to it now. 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 Hey! Be, be fruitful. When you are fruitful. Your enemies hide their face in shame. Yes. Eh? When you become fruitful, do not think there are no people talking about you. They are analyzing you and discussing you and saying things. The only thing that can shut up a gainsayer is evidence. Yes, Speak to me, black man. It is fruitfulness. When a man becomes fruitful, listen to me. I don't care how much a girl pre pretends that she does not know a man. The day she becomes pregnant, her evidence is out. I don't know, man, or I've not done it before. I don't know anything. No. I'm a virgin. No. The day you, you get pregnant, your story will change. Are you Mary Magdalene or Mary what? You have become fruitful. And that fruitful is an evidence that there was an impartation. There's an evidence that there is an impartation. After today, people will see you and they will know that there's an evidence. They will see something that will make them go to shame. I don't know who I'm preaching to. God is about to visit your house. God is about to visit your life. God is about to visit your career. God is about to visit your home. God is about to visit your business. Somebody say, please, black man. Fruitfulness. There's a young man here. I think he doesn't want to testify yet, but I want to pull him out. Where is he? Where is he? He sent me an email. Where is he? Come, come here with your wife somewhere. I don't know if you're in church today. The one that said he's been barren for nine years. I thought you would be here today. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? With his wife. He's not here. You know whom I'm talking about? He said some days ago, you gave me an apple or something. You told us, he's not here today. The one from Zimbabwe, he sent me an email. Send me an email. He said, you came, the doctors told my wife and I. He said, there is no reason on earth why you have a baby no reason on earth why you have a baby he sent me an email last week sent me an email last week he said some months ago or is in december in january you came to my the ear of my wife and whispered it's, yeah, it's, 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 uh, receive your miracle Take it, it's here. He said, they turned and looked at me. All of them think I'm always crazy. That is why I like it. It's not about you. Because if it is about you, you will, you will decide my madness already. He said, when I and my wife left, we turned and looked and said, this man doesn't know our report. 
The doctor said it is not possible ever in this life. He said, with joy, I am sending this email to let you know that my wife is four and a half months pregnant. Can you give a clap of to the Lord? Hallelujah! Can you make a joyful noise? Listen to me. You might be considering yourself. You might be telling yourself with the way it is with me. It's not possible. I am not thinking about you. If I consider you, I remember some years ago, they brought a man. We were in three span, plain road. They brought a man, if you will remember, maybe Pastor Henry or somebody will remember. They brought the stretcher. A man on the stretcher, like in yes, the basket. Yes. They, they brought him with a mat. With a mat. When I saw the man, my heart started beating. I said, Who brought this man here? They should have kept him somewhere where I would not see him. You know, I'm human too. The only way I'm shouting this thing is because something has entered me. It's like I'm on dark. I looked at the man. I said, well, I will use style and maneuver and maneuver and maneuver and maneuver until the end of the service. Then I'll pray for him later when everybody has gone. So only very few people will see. While I was preaching and preaching, something, somebody say something. Something. Somebody say something. Something. Something entered me. And I turned around, look at you, and I said, Where is that man? Bring him here. Badika Lataya. I said, I'm about to pray for you. When I pray for you, you stand up and run. A man that has not stood for months and months, yes. I say, You will stand up and run. I think we have that DVD somewhere. I came to him power. Somebody say power. power. Oh, you don't understand. Somebody shout power. Power. I say, you filthy devil. When I put my hand on him, his eyes did like this. Like, like somebody that woke up from sleep, I knew that power had transferred. I said, get up. When he got up, he was sick. He was trying to get up. I said, don't carry him. He got up. I said, Ron, you were there. Yes. Listen, no, no, no. listen to me. I came with double dose of that power. Amen. You, you didn't want to. I remember she did. She didn't want to. She was avoiding this thing. Are you closing it now? I remember you. You were sitting somewhere. Where? There. What did I say? Soon. Can you make a joyful noise unto the Lord, people of God? This is an evidence Sorry. of the power of fruitfulness. Put the camera there. Can you give a clap in our frame? I said, Can you soon. make a joyful noise? She, she remembers. For God confirms the ways of his servants. She remembers. I said, Soon. It is not de dependent on you. I, I, I need you to understand what I came to do this morning. Because, because if, you, if you consider your situation, give me back, give me back, give me back. I came for people that want to receive. I came for people that want to receive this morning. Not people that are looking at me like uh, this. Ah, I, if I give you power, you don't want power. You give me back. You understand? When I started this morning, I told you today yes, sir. that out of my body will come aprons and handkerchiefs. Power! Fruitfulness takes away disgrace. Your car is coming. I say your house is coming. I say your children is coming. If you don't have a job, take a job now. If you don't have a job, receive your job now. If you don't have a job, receive your job now. Amen.
receive. Fruitfulness brings dignity to a man. Oh, yes. It brings what? Fruitfulness brings dignity. It, it, it restores the dignity of a man. When a man is progressing and fruitful, are you, are you, it, 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 I had a chat with person? one of my brothers and he was telling me about something. Okay. It had to do with a thousand dollars. He said, there's this thousand dollars. I said, why are you embarrassing us? Why are you making noise? Don't make noise over a thousand dollars. If you need a thousand dollars, let me give it to you. Don't make noise. Don't embarrass us because of a thousand dollars. Okay, can I? Listen, that's what something? we're talking about fruitfulness. Fruitfulness brings honor, it restores a man's dignity. Your dignity is restored now. Amen. I say your dignity is restored now. Amen. I say I restore your dignity now. Amen. Man of God, there is a testimony here. Already? The main impression is on the line. Okay. Yeah. Why is he not in church? He went for a funeral in uh, Soweto. Okay, give me, give me. Yes, yes, yes. This is kind of... Is they right? Are they writing it? Okay. It talks, listen to me. It takes away reproach. Yeah. It, 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 it gives honor. There is nothing as dishonorable that your son or your daughter will say it is time for school fees. And you are, uh, you are, you are scratching your head. Uh, uh, uh. Daddy, they say I will not come back to school. You say, I'm working on it. Working on what? Be fruitful. Amen. Oh God. Amen. I said be fruitful. I said be fruitful. That shame and disgrace is over from today. In the name of Jesus. I came to release grace. Fruitfulness is a sign that Satan has lost. Thank you. Fruitfulness is a sign. Mm. <laughs> it's a sign. It's a what? Fruitfulness is a sign that you are victorious. Because if the devil comes to kill and steal and destroy, and in spite of the devil coming to kill and steal and destroy, you are producing. Uh, it means that you are victorious. Am I talking? Listen to me. I say I see a 48 hour miracle I don't know who man. I say a 48 hour miracle Amen. as I'm speaking things are falling in place and places God is restructuring your destiny Amen. God is restructuring your business Amen. God is restructuring your career Amen. God is restructuring your destiny Amen. Fruitfulness is a sign. It is not everyone that is successful. There are people anytime you talk to them, whoa, problem, problem, problem. When you can, when you can get up. I was in Nigeria the other day, they asked me, what do you want to eat? I said, bread and granite. 
Some of you don't understand the mystery of bread and granite. Go and try it. I say bread and granite. I'm not a hungry man. I follow what I'm saying. A hungry man will tell you salad, chicken, and beef because he has, it's, it's been long, he ate it. I said, give me biscuit and granules. My sister said, Chai, big man. Yeah. Say big man. I follow what I'm saying. Listen. Fruitfulness is a sign it's a sign. How can, how can Abraham, Isaac be in a land where there is drought, where there is barrenness, and the Bible said he multiplied in sheep and in, there's, there's famine, there's famine in the land. Abraham was producing sheep and donkey in famine. One man came to him and said, we, we see that God is with you. That is what they will tell you this month. Amen. You don't hear what I, I said? That is what they will tell you this month. Amen. A young man, a pastor came to look for me. And he said, uh, I want to see you. I said, okay. He said, uh, that thing you are doing. Show me the way. I said, show you the way. Which way? I said, go and spend time with God. He said, leave this thing. We have spent time. We've gone to mountain and back. I said, go and spend time in fasting. He said, I have fasted and I have fasted and I have fasted and I have fasted and I have fasted. Nothing happened. Show me what you are doing. The reason Hola is power, I say it's power. I came with power. I said the reason why he's looking for me is because there is there is result, there is proof, there is fruitfulness. Your enemies will come and ask you, show me how you do it. Amen. I said, those that have been talking about you. They will say, please, show me the way. Show me how you've been doing it. And you will tell them, come with me to Christ Ambassador's Church. There is power there. When you are fruitful, finally, it is a sign that God is still working. Come on. Have you? Uh, it's a sign that God is still working. It's a sign. When you become productive, because if God has stopped working, then production will cease. Amen? Production will cease. But, 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 but your life will be a testimony that, that God that God is still busy. Somebody says it's not finished with me. It's not, it's not finished with me. It is, it is a sign. It is a sign that God... I'm looking for somebody here that your case... <laughs> where, if you are here, you know your case is... Your case is... Be, you think is beyond repair. Just raise your hand. It's beyond repair. Beyond. Okay, thank God you have Apple. If I, uh, if I finish my what has been has been are you listening to me don't be restrained you are still pretty and still very young if, if I look you power I talk to you power I, am I talking to somebody I came with double dose this morning somebody shout power Power. Uh, have you found that or considered? Let her go. Let her leave her. Leave that. God is working. 
have you considered and found out that what makes the plant grow is invisible? But well, you didn't hear that. What makes a crop grow? Yes, sir. What makes you, you, you have uh, you have uh, what is this anxiety? You have anxiety. You have anxiety. Yes, anxiety. What makes a crop grow is not visible. If you plant a maize, a corn under the ground. You have planted a corn. All you do, you sit back. Yeah. How it grows. How it grows, you don't know. What chemical is under the soil? You don't know. What will make you a millionaire? You don't know. What will make you get married? You don't know. What will increase your business? You don't know. What will make you a billionaire? You don't know. What will change your destiny? You don't know. What will make you have a baby? You don't know. What will change your business? You Amen. Men, men of God, we have a testimony here. Yeah. Like you said, that miracles will take place just by passing. Mm. This lady here, she said she's been having a sharp pain on her chest for the past two weeks. She struggled to breathe. But as you made your way closer to where she was sitting, she started feeling heat coming all over her body. Before you know it, she says the pain is gone. I told you, I told you, I told you. I came to change your life today. We came to produce in your life today. God is about to change your destiny today. God is about to change your life today. Hey! What makes it grow? You don't know. What will produce? The deposit is there already. So what is the power? power. Yeah. There is a power deposit already. So what happens is, see, 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 let me tell you what happens. Say, talk to me. I can't hear you. Say, talk to me. What happens is, the issue, listen now, the issue, the situation, comes to meet with a residue power. The maze is a situation that cannot produce on its own. Your condition is a bad situation that cannot be well on its own i follow it but when you take the maize or you take the corn or you take whatever it is and it makes contact with an inbuilt power the power of god is constant so it's like the soil where you put the maize the the power is not the maize the miracle is not the maze. The miracle is that thing that is not seen, that is under the ground, that tells that maze, I have power to affect you. When I affect you, you begin to grow. Amen. When I affect you, Amen. you begin to produce. Amen. When I affect you, yes. your life will change. Will when I affect you, Amen. your condition will change. Yes. When I affect you, Amen. your situation will change. Amen. Somebody shout, I'm here. I'm here. Preach, black man. This morning, 
Dabade. Shulabade. I, I, I need you. Let it be permanent. Bring her here. Let it be permanent. What you've received. Let it be permanent. Can we give her a clap and offer to the Lord? Make a try for us. You are in best in line. I I came by the Spirit of God as that invisible power. That power of the Holy Ghost that brings about the change. All you need this morning is to take yourself and plant. Remember, I, I told you about the, the seed. The seed on its own abideth alone. What brings forth fruit is the invisible soil. He's here. Are you ready for me? We are going to pray. We are going to pray. You cry out to God this morning. Make me fruitful. Make me fruitful. Make me fruitful. Amen. Hold and hold. Hold and hold. Make me. Ah, another one is going down. Too. Make me. cry to God I want to produce I want to produce you I need to be a glory I need to I need to I need to I need to little ones I need to I need to no I don't want to walk in there now I need to matter here Broto brother, I need to make me fruitful. Make me fruitful. Quiet. Say, make me fruitful. Tell him. We are going to start praying. Let him make you fruitful. Make me fruitful. Make me fruitful. Make me fruitful. Make me fruitful. All of Make me fruitful. 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 Glory. Make me fruitful. This is your prayer. Make me fruitful. Make me fruitful. Harder. Osamla de Clada. It's production. It's production. It's production. I came as the power that holds the soil. I, I, I hope you understand what I'm saying. I, I came. By the Spirit of God, Shabbati Bada. If you don't know where you're going, everywhere will look like it. Until you place a demand from God, this is what I want. If you don't have vision, God does not have anything to work with. You pursue the vision. It is vision that defines what you want God to do for you. Jesus came with a vision for God to give Jesus.
Jesus paid and be there for him. Jesus knew what he wanted. 